your excellencies, honorable minister for defense, our chief of defense forces, vice chief of defense forces, service commanders, serving and retired general officers, the chair of the parliamentary committee on foreign relations and defense, the area member of parliament and leaders, family members, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we gather to celebrate an extraordinary milestone, the 60th anniversary of the Kenya Air Force of the Republic of Kenya. This is not just a date on the calendar. It is a momentous occasion to honor the unwavering dedication, valor, and service of the men and women who have worn the Air Force uniform with pride and distinction. 60 years ago, on Madaraka Day in 1964, the Kenya Air Force was born. From its modest beginnings as a squadron of the British Royal Air Force, it has evolved into a powerful, sophisticated force, standing as a sentinel in our skies, a guardian of our sovereignty, and a beacon of hope during times of crisis. Today, we pay tribute to the heroes of the Kenya Air Force, those who have soared above, and above the clouds, facing immense challenges with courage and professionalism. Your commitment to duty, your readiness to respond in times of need, and your steadfast determination as the bedrock upon which our security is built is greatly appreciated by the nation. But beyond the aircraft and technology, it is the people who form the heart and soul of the Kenya Air Force. You, the brave men and women, have dedicated your lives to protecting our people, our territory, and our nation. You have stood ready day and night to defend our freedom and safeguard our present and future. For that, as a nation, we are eternally grateful. Therefore, let us all stand as we observe a minute of silence for all those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice defending our nation. Thank you. We also recognize the sacrifices made by your families, and I see them in this celebration. Behind every pilot, technician, logistician, and support staff member is a family that has shared in the burdens and triumphs, offering steadfast support and enduring the anxieties that come with the service, to the spouses and children, parents and friends, we say thank you very much. Your support is the silent strength that empowers our men and women in the Air Force and in our defense forces. In times of natural disasters and emergencies, the Kenya Air Force has been a lifeline 
from airlifting supplies to remote areas, rescuing victims of floods, and providing critical aid in crisis, you have demonstrated that your commitment extends far beyond the battlefield. Your humanitarian missions have saved countless lives and brought hope to many. And for this, you have our highest admiration. Your role in maintaining peace and security extends beyond our borders. In Somalia, DRC, and other regions, your efforts have helped to bring stability and peace, reflecting Kenya's commitment to being a force for good in our region and globally. The bravery and professionalism you have demonstrated in these missions have earned you the respect and gratitude of nations and have earned our nation admiration and respect across the world. As we look back over these six decades, we are reminded of the resilience that defines the Kenya Air Force. You have faced challenges and risen above them. The reorganization following the event of 1992 strengthened your ranks, raised standards, and forged a more disciplined and capable force. From adversity, you have emerged stronger. Congratulations. Looking into the future, we stand at the threshold of many challenges, but also new opportunities. The threats we face are ever evolving, but so too are our capabilities. The government of Kenya is committed to continuing the modernization of our Air Force, ensuring that you have the tools, training, and resources needed to meet any challenge. I am particularly proud that when I was in the US a week ago, among the discussions we had were military capabilities to enhance our capacity of the Kenya Air Force as well as the entire Kenya Defense Forces for mission readiness. I am also happy that as I came back yesterday, Korea, South Korea also have committed to improve some of the capabilities and have offered some of their equipment to support the capabilities of our Kenya Defense Forces. We will invest in cutting edge technology enhance our skills, and support your missions to keep our nation safe and our future secure. Today, we honor the past, celebrate the present, and look forward to a future filled with optimism and promise. The Kenya Air Force has a proud legacy of service, sacrifice, and excellence. As you soar into the next decade, May you continue to embody the highest ideals of honor, integrity, and patriotism. To the members of the Kenya Air Force, past and present, I salute you. And as I discussed with the military command in Kenya, the Kenya Air Force have promised me that they have the capabilities and I will also commit that my administration will support the Kenya Air Force to train a minimum of 200 pilots every year beginning next year. Both to enhance the capabilities of our Kenya Air Force, but to also support our civilian capabilities, both in Kenya and regionally. 
May you continue to fly high and true, guided by your motto, Tuko Imara Angani. Let me also commit that in discussions with the county of Nairobi, we will make sure that this facility does not lose its premier position and all buildings that have been built beyond the heights that are provided for in law, we will work with the Nairobi City County to make sure that all developers keep to the standards that we have agreed with the Kenya Air Force and with the Kenya Defense Forces. Let me also commit that the 10,000 housing units that will support the housing program for our Kenya Defense Forces is the first phase. We will continuously work with the housing fund and the government of Kenya in general to make sure that our Kenya Defense Force personnel in all our formations have adequate and proper housing facilities. We have also agreed on all the other issues so that our men and women serving and offering their ultimate service to the nation do so as we appreciate what they are doing for our nation and the sacrifices they are making to keep our nation safe and our future secure. Happy 60th anniversary, Kenya Air Force. May God bless you all and may God bless our great country, Kenya. Asante ni sana. Tuna umbo kuketi mwishmerais kidogo wakati.